What's up, YouTube? AJ Boogie back at it again, bringing you that Marshawn Lynch beast mode camp hype. Here's the situation Marshawn Lynch has a football camp for younger guys, for these kids, and he used some colorful language at a kid. And of course, mom was not happy about it, so we got ourselves a good old fashioned parent versus coach showdown. Her interview first so she can paint the picture of the situation that happened and then I'll show the altercation between her and Marshawn. With Marshawn, you know, the, the most famed group, you know, to get to. And um, because they were standing around, I don't know what happened before my son got to that group to get him to act this way. I'm sure there was something preceding it, but he told the kids he just walked up and randomly tapped my son on the shoulder and told him to run, um, to run around the track. You know, when you get in trouble in football, you know, most of the time you're told to run. So he sent him to run, but before he sent him to run, he didn't realize that he was speaking directly to Matthias telling him to get out of the drill or his words were get the fuck out of my drill. So I have a problem already with what she said with, he just tapped a random kid on the shoulder and said, get the F out of my drill. Does that sound like something Marshawn Lynch would just go up to a random kid and say that just out of the blue. He's just like, you, I don't like your face. Get out of my drill. You're going to have a hard time convincing me that your son was doing something and it was something he shouldn't have been doing. Now let's examine this next piece of evidence, which is the confrontation between Marshawn and this mom. Is there a man here with you? Is not a man here with you? What does that matter? My son is leaving. I don't care. It's my son. Now here's where it starts getting ugly. Here is where the problem is with Marshawn. He keeps on asking, is there a man here with you? And right away, right on cue, she throws down the sexist card. I mean, it was no hesitation. Boom, here it is. My take is Marshawn took the time out of his day, out of his camp, to come talk to you. That should at least gain some respect points. And let's be honest, it's a football. It's a man's sport. Marshawn wanted to talk to a guy, someone who could relate possibly to playing football. It's a football experience. He wasn't saying that women are inferior. If you ask me, you kind of got to know your host to the camp that you're sending your child to. I mean, look, this is beast mode camp. It's not beauty queen camp. And honestly, I would be disappointed if Marshawn Lynch didn't cuss at all. I mean, you have to know that could be a possible side effect in dealing with Marshawn. There are things that Marshawn Lynch can teach a child that a father can't, that a mother can't. Only something that he can teach them. And if that means he gives you some keys to success to get to the top to bust out a 70 yard beast mode kind of run and hold my groin floating into the end zone, sign me up. And if he's got to hear a few curse words along the way to get the best out of my kid, cuss away. Like, do you want a microphone? I'll go yeah, find you one. You doing what they need to do? Then yes, there's consequences to that. Yeah, yeah. So, now we have exposed one lie. The kid was doing something he shouldn't have been doing. But at the end of the day, if there's a kid that's on my field while wearing jeans, participate in the right way, there is consequences for that. If it takes the measurement, if you tell them to go and run laps, come over here and record me so they can actually see. No, face. they can see you fine here. I know, come on. So if it takes, if it takes that amount of time for when I tell a kid to oh, do something and they're not doing what they're supposed no. to do, then there is consequences like push-ups, like running laps, like, like sit-ups. Let me tell you about my football experience in high school. If a coach would have told me to get the F out of a drill, I would have been like, hey, coach likes me. And I was probably doing something that I wasn't supposed to do. Look, I don't know if it's coaching back then and coaching now, but my coaches would call me names that should not ever be repeated, that should be like fireable offense, and I'm sure they were 10 times worse way back in the day. Look, you didn't send your kid to the Pop Warner football camp. You didn't send your kid to a good old Coach Johnny's football camp. You sent your kid to Marshawn Lynch camp. 
If you ask me, you need to know who your host is. If I sent my son to Marshawn's camp and he got in trouble where Mar Marshawn made him do push-ups, run laps, I would record it. I'd record every second. And if my kids started acting up, I'd be like, you sure you want to go down this road? I don't know, maybe 2019 left me behind. I think we're getting softer as a society. I mean, me personally, this is how I've been talked to as an athlete from a coach. I didn't think this was any surprise, especially football. But let me show you this last piece of evidence that motivated me to making this video. And so I went up to her and I tapped her on the, the side and told her, hey, this is what he did. He just cussed at my kid telling him to get out of the drill. And I told him, you can have this shirt in so many colorful, eccentric words. So what are you mad about then again? So many colorful and eccentric words or whatever she said, give me a break. So after examining all the evidence that was presented, I hereby find the mom guilty and Marshawn innocent. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. AJ Boogie, signing out. Boom!